Guys, welcome to Grilling with Gabe. We are here at my local HEB. We're about to go into this mother trucker and we're gonna get some sides. We already got uh, chicken thighs at home. We're gonna use chicken thighs with maybe like a healthy barbecue sauce and some sides. So let's go in there, let's see what we get. Let's make lunch, come on. It is fitting. What's up girl? The fit is fitting. The fit be fitting and doing its thing? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. We're back on our healthy eating journey. Part of me, I want some good barbecue sauce, but guys, it's full of sugar. Sauce, it's full of sugar. So you can never go wrong with like a vinegar-based sauce, like a wing sauce. So you know, of course, you got the original Frank's Red Hot. Can never go wrong with Frank's Red Hot. But let's try something different. H E B has also got their uh, flying saucy. Um, hey, one tablespoon, brand. ten calories. One tablespoon is only ten calories. Mango habanero. That sounds pretty freaking good. They've got mild. Kind of we just got some of this brand, but not that kind of sauce. Hey! Bold and spicy to, oh, what's the cows on that? So one tablespoon is 20 calories on this. So this one's a peach sriracha mustard sauce, and it is only 35 calories for two tablespoons. So that's about comparable to the other ones. And I think this would be a definitely great option. So let's I do want to pick out, this. I do want to pick out a barbecue sauce, but I'm we're gonna, gonna do. That sounds good. We had this one last time. That's that what we had. That one's amazing. I'm going to do a sugar-free one, though. I really like the sweet and spicy, so I might get that one. I like that brand. But I've never seen this. I've never seen the kids. Should we the get kinders. that? Sugar. This one. We're doing sugar. They're sweet and smoky. Is that teriyaki back there? Or no, it's original. Um, What else do they have? They've got bacon jam. I don't want bacon Look, jam. They've got pimento cheese stuffed portobello mushrooms. We're going to be doing some of these. Let's do it. I have never seen... You thought I made it up? Yeah. I thought you were just saying broccoli funny. Nope, that's broccoli. It literally looks like asparagus and a broccoli had a baby. Let's go. That's what needs to try, so... Alrighty, guys. So here we are. We're back at home. We've got some Sweet Baby Ray's sauce. This one is Drew sauce that she picked out. I picked out this peach sriracha mustard sauce. This one is only uh, 35 calories for two tablespoons, which is not bad at all. Super excited about that. Right here, we have got our... Uh, fresh chicken thighs from uh, Kirkland Signature. I think these are Costco's brand, right? Yeah. And then... They have bones and skins. Oh, so these are skin and boned. I like the skinless and boneless, but it's all right. I know, but it's okay. It's all right. They were a good deal. So right here, we've also got some seasoning. This is the uh, Beasley's Armadillo Reds Poultry Powder. Um, I don't think we've ever used this. No, we've used the pork one and the beef one. Is so and they're so good. So we're excited to try that one. We've got the Kinder's The Blend. This is Drew's all-time favorite seasoning. We've also got Cavender's, one of Drew's all-time favorite seasonings. And Drew's very most favorite seasoning, <laughs> garlic powder. So, guys, those are going to be absolutely awesome on this chicken. I'm excited to get this thing seasoned up. We're going to fire up the pit. And then we've also got some of these pimento cheese mushroom caps, guys. Check that out. These I will not awesome. be eating those. You're not eating these? I don't like mushrooms. Bro, I love mushrooms. We've also got never even heard of these. I thought Drew was making funny jokes. But I literally said, I want to get some broccolini. And he's like, you mean broccoli? I said, broccolini? And he's like, stop making up words. And I was like, I'm not making up words. I didn't know asparagus and broccoli had a baby. So, so Drew's going to season up these chickens for me. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to clean up the grill and get the uh, propane tank switched from the Blackstone over to that one and get that set up. It's going to take me a couple seconds. So that's why I'm going to have her go ahead and season these while I'll do that. Guys, people say, wash your chicken. No. If you look it up, you're actually not supposed to wash your chicken because then you get chicken guts everywhere. Well, we are heavy seasoners, so I'm going to season it pretty heavy. I got some of this poultry seasoning. Um, I like to use any poultry seasoning when cooking with chicken. I think it just makes the chicken taste so good. It has the perfect, like, flavors for chicken because it's like legit made for chicken and I always have to add in some garlic so I'm gonna add in some extra garlic and then I'm actually not gonna use this I'm gonna use Kinder's instead Kinder's is so good if you've never tried it it's good on literally everything I'm gonna keep this hand clean and use this hand to flip and then I'll wash my hands again but this is a Greek seasoning and I love it on legit everything. Spaghetti, taco, everything. It's so good. We'll do some more of this chicken seasoning on there. And then a little bit more garlic powder. Ta -da. And that is how we're gonna season them and then we'll finish them off on the grill with the barbecue sauces. For the broccolini, to be honest, I've gotten this before. 
but I do not remember how I made it at all. So I'm just gonna pour it into here and we're gonna season it up pretty much with the same things, but I'm gonna use some oil to get it like wet. This little sprayer is from Timu, has olive oil in it. I'm just gonna spray on some olive oil, evenly coat it, and then we're gonna do our garlic, a good amount of garlic because we like garlic, and then just some cabinets. I'm also gonna do some chopped up onions that are dehydrated because I love those so much. And then we'll massage it in. Just a little bit. Now, mix her up. Into the pit. I got it cleaned up. I got the stuff up. It's hot. It's ready to rock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on about mid-high. It's probably where I'm going to put it for the chicken. We're going to open that sucker up. She's screaming, guys. She is screaming. We're going to take our awesome uh, little clamps from Danco. We're going to go ahead and take our chicken breasts. Or the not skin breasts, is down. Chicken breasts, okay. whatever these are called. What are these? Chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. Bone. These have bone and skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put skin side down to crisp it up. Oh, uh, listen to that sizzle. We're going to do that to all of these skin side down. Mmm. I can already smell that seasoning. You put that cavender's on here. I can smell I did. it. It smells so good. All right. Check that out. We got our chickens on. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these broccolinis. And I'm going to go ahead and take these and put those on top to get those to start cooking. Those probably won't take as long as the chicken. But we're going to go ahead and put these bad boys on. Now, today we're just grilling. Sometimes I'll, I'll actually plug in... Um, the pit, because guys, this pit is absolutely amazing. I'll go over what pit I'm using in just a second. And I think a lot of people um, have probably never really seen one of these. And I really, really love this, this pit. It's amazing. This is the Lifetime Fusion Fuel. Um, guys, we've had this for a couple years. We need to get a cover for it and I need to clean it up. But this pit is the best pit I've ever had. Once this pit craps out, which I don't think it will anytime soon, but once it does, I will 100% be buying another one of these love this thing it's a lifetime fu fusion fuel it has a uh pellet uh smoker on it look it's a pellet smoker and it's a propane grill guys we cook everything on this thing we used to use it a lot more than we do we, we want to start using it some more again but guys definitely go check out lifetime go check out the lifetime fusion fuel they are freaking awesome lifetime's grills have always been awesome and I absolutely love this thing. So. Yep. And I'm going to go wash off these and that because it has raw chicken on it. And then I'll get you a chicken flipper and a broccoli flipper. A chicken flipper. Put that in there, yeah. Guys, our first grilling with Gabe fail. I literally, these chickens look good. That one's a little overdone. No, I think it looks good. But guys, I honestly did not think that on the top rack these would cook so fast. But these are petrified. They're literally done. Yeah. I went inside and I was going to come back out to flip them. And guys, they're literally like burnt to a crisp. So... Bye-bye. Looks like we're not eating broccolini. Actually, my beautiful wife here is going to be adding our sauce. This one is that low-calorie sriracha mustard sauce. That, oh, that smells amazing. Oh, my gosh, guys. If y'all could smell this right now. You'd be like, oh, my gosh. Wow. Peach sriracha mustard sauce. And then on one of my pieces, I want this one. I'm going yeah. to do some of my barbecue. Do it. And guys, Drew loves the Sweet Baby Ray's, uh, which one is that? Honey the Honey Barbecue. I like the sweet and spicy. I like all of them pretty much. Guys, you cannot go wrong with Sweet Baby Ray's in any form. Guys, yo. All right, I turned the heat down a little bit after our little mishap. So let's see what happens. We're definitely going to keep a good eye on these um, mushrooms because I really do not want to screw those up. So let's see what we can do. All righty, guys. So I just checked the internal temp on all of these chickens, and they are all over 165. So they are done. What about the mushrooms? The mushrooms are about to come off right now. Ooh, I'm not going to lie. I don't even like mushrooms, but I'm going to try one of these. They look good, don't they? Mm-hmm. excited about the chicken on. All righty, guys. That was Grilling with Gabe. We had a fun time grilling this today. That looks absolutely delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see me grill something else, comment down below what you want to see me grill, what you want to see me cook, smoke, any of that. Comment down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go follow us both on Facebook if you're not already. Also over on Instagram. That would be much appreciated. Guys, thank you all so much. See you on the next one. Peace.